it. The, the yeah, it, it's it's a nice camp that we came upon that was just full of already dead people. Which reminds me, did you guys get a full rest, or were, did you leave off where you were going to clean up the dead we bodies? Did, or I believe we got a full rest. I believe we, we did. did. We, in, we put in yeah. for a long rest. We did a long rest. And, and leveled up. Uh, we oh, said we were doing fair, a long yeah. rest. Whether or not Saif lets us is the question. No, no, no. You guys, you guys are gonna, you guys are gonna get a long rest. That was a, that was a. So this is kind of the problem with DMing, and I had, I had this conversation with Baz last week. So Lost Minds of Fandalen is very much a, um, not much of a dungeon crawl because the way uh, most of the time in D and D it works is that you have multiple encounters happen in a period of time without resting. So then you have to worry about your action economy. What abilities do you want to use up? Make sure you spread the love around. But when we when you're doing like this part of Lost Minds where there's really no there, it's not encounter after encounter it's you walk you, there's an encounter you go to sleep you wake up you walk there's an encounter you go to sleep it's not challenging because you have all of your abilities and shit so it's just so that's why I made that last encounter so goddamn tough because I wanted you guys to feel the pressure of it and it lasted yeah, the almost. entire fucking session and by the end of it I was like I'm ready for a nap. <laughs> Yeah, we we it, we got pretty roughed up. We we it was it was pretty good. It worked out. It just it's just that's just the hard part is you know. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. So, recap. Last time you guys were headed towards Thunder Tree, um, up the Tribor Trail towards the north, and to the left is Neverwinter, and to the right is is where Thunder Tree is. It's an old ruins. It's not populated anymore. You were tipped off by um, by. Um, the lady who, the, the halfling or what, or gnome or whatever the halfling that owned the farm, Adelie farm, mm -hmm. um, that she has a friend who was studying at the, um, at Thunder Tree. And, um, I think I gave you the name of the friend, but that name is now, um, Demos or De yeah, Demos. It's not what it was before. So just deal with that. We'll just say that that's, 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 that's the real thing. Any whore. Um, it's now called. So you guys were going down the trail and you came across an encampment full of dead bodies, just littered with dead bodies. And um, so, um, is this the same Demos that's running the uh, slaughterhouse that we're no, going to go see, later? The problem is, is that the two people are working uh, that I'm working with for that kind of stuff are um, not communicating with each other. So they don't know that's a thing. That's Dino. Dino. Okay. Yeah, this is Demos, like with an M. One's Italian, one's Greek. You'll learn. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, that's a, that's a good one. That's a good. That's actually that's hard. actually very good. Yeah. Um, two different. Yeah, two different islands. Two different islands. That's honestly very D and D. It, that is very. Is true. It Italian? Neither of them are islands. I was gonna They're say peninsulas. <laughs> well, you could say like Sicily, and then you know some you know. Sicily's whatever. like a very. You know what? I'm not Isn't getting Sicily into like you. in the middle of Italy, which is like. It, okay. The peninsula. I'm gonna get you a ge quick geography lesson. Sicily is no, an island what am off, I thinking? The, no, off the west coast of Italy. Yeah, yeah. Okay. The Mediterranean. Yeah. Look, I'm I, an American. I, I don't know anything about I Europe. Said, I, I knew off. that Sicily I'm was American an island too, fucker. <laughs> Shut up. I'm barely co I'm barely conscious right now. Looping the queue activated. Okay, good. Um, so for the seven thousand people that just contributed in chat to the to the the Mario D and D stream, I appreciate you. I'm not name. I'm not going through all that right now, Bo. Um, all right. So basically, yeah. So with that nonsense aside, um, so what happened is you walked into this town with a whole bunch of of uh, dead people, littered bodies everywhere, and you cautiously guys kind of move forward, and a dark drow in really nice black armor appeared in front of you and. Uh, introduced himself as this fighter and basically gave you guys kind of a, a warming threat of um look we prepared this camp for you because we know you're exhausted from your journeying but um i'm gonna need you guys to leave me the fuck alone basically is what he kind of said but in a much politer way um our buddy dylon and true dylon fashion went up to try and attack him and pretty much just kind of he neznar pretty much just laughed him away a dark drow as opposed to a comedic drow. There He's still could kind be of funny comedic too, drows. Yeah. There could be. Um, I would say, like, you know, Handsome Jack from Borderlands is extremely dark, but he's funny as fuck. Um, 
Yes, I like him. Yeah, he's a he's a prick. <laughs> My favorite part of the game is when he just tells you to kill yourself. That and then if you do it, he pays you a lot of money. It's fucking hysterical. It is true. He will pay because he keeps his word. He does. Like, it yeah, was pretty funny. You, so, um, moving on from that, after Nesnar was just kind of like, oh, uh, before you take the camp, it's not for free, have fun with my minions, and you guys got gangbanged by a shit ton of orcs, and an orc captain, which was a lot stronger than I expected it to be, honestly. Yeah, what, how many fucking hit points did he have, by the way? A hundred. <laughs> That yeah, was that a, yeah, right. that was a Which lot. Which is funny because regular orcs only have like 22. <laughs> and I was like, what the fuck? Because I mean, I, we just kept fucking hitting him and he was like, ha ha no. Because didn't Basically. like two people go down during that? Yes. I think, I think it was pretty bad. Dylon I mean, and Klaus went down, which is very normal because yeah, they're up front two all of the time. Our, I know, but like they're like also our heavier hitters. I'm like, shit. So I would say that you guys can pick your tents, um, move whatever tent you want to, or to clean up the bodies, and we'll do a long rest. Um, we're going to take Shadow off, because I don't remember why she was here. Uh, um, that that was the uh, uh, the cleric's power totem thing. Got yeah. it. Oh, yeah, his... um his, his, uh, fist of something. Weapon, his spiritual weapon. It was fist. Yeah. fist of, it was fist of Tevigong, the uh, the Shaolin the fist show now. Of fisting. The, yeah, the fist of fisting. <clears throat> that is true. Baz is very. That that's kind of goes along with what I was saying about how you guys went into this battle completely fully healed and ready to fight. So Baz was saying that typically a hundred hit points is nothing for a party for your level, but usually a boss with that would only have three or four assistants, whereas I threw like twelve at you guys. Yeah, and then we killed them, and you fucking resurrected them, so we had to do it all over again. Yeah, that yeah. was the, that. That's just my. That's just me being a, a, an unlucky DM because <laughs> I was I was rolling under ten, and you guys were fucking mowing them down so fast, and I was like, "That's it, I'm bringing them all back." But then after that, I couldn't roll under a fucking fifteen. So sorry, that and shit just cleric happens. Forgot he had turn undead. Mm-hmm. Oh God. Sorry, find a tent. Matari, are you uh, just gonna sleep out in the uh, rain? Get your ass in a I'll just, I'll, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna lie in this ditch over here. No, all right, I'll, I'll just go into this one here. All That's right, fine. okay. You so pick you one guys... of the smallest ones, and you're the biggest person. I know, like my, I, I, I'm wearing the tent. Like my, <laughs> my hands and feet stick out of it. My head. It's a poncho. <laughs> it is nighttime, and you guys are getting restful sleep. Um. Candy, roll me a d20. Oh, shit. Not the dreams again. <laughs> Not the dreams again. Not the dreams again. Not the dreams. This is how we're starting things. All right. Dream of crystalline skies. I should actually have Sus come in every, uh, every time you have a dream and just have him narrate it. <laughs> mm, I know. I wake up at noon. I'll hurting. wake up at noon every Saturday for that shit. You dream of bitches and Burger King. Did you roll? I, I, I the encounter's open, but it's not showing anything. You rolled a ten. Uh, yeah, I rolled a ten. I rolled it to everybody because I wasn't sure if I was supposed to or not. Oh no, it's fine. So <laughs> I don't like that tone. <laughs> you, you failed your you, dream. Pretty much, you failed your dream now. So you pretty much, um, you, I'm sure that you're having unsettling thoughts as you're falling asleep about the last dream you had about your, um, your sick mother and how you guys, uh, your mother's whole stick was helping orphaned children, um, back from where you are from. And, uh, you know, she passed away from an illness, uh, and then, you know, you slip into sleep as you're thinking about these things. And from there... As you fall back into sleep, you fall into another dream. And in this dream, you are a little bit older. Uh, you are with a person that you recognize as your father. He's extremely downtrodden, depressed. It seems like it's been maybe a couple years in between the two dreams. And almost as if you feel as though you're sad because your father has never been able to recover from the loss of your mother. Um, you slip back into your sleep again, and it kind of skips from um, it skips from this like dream scene to another dream scene, 
and your father looks much more chipper, but you do not feel good. You actually feel like you've swapped, whereas you were okay and your dad wasn't okay. Now your dad's happy, but you were just completely miserable. And uh, the reason being, as we go further into this, is there's a new person in the house. Um, another another uh, fairy lady has moved in. And uh, sh your father seems really happy with her. She makes you uncomfortable. You're not so much upset about your father moving on and getting finding love again. You're more upset because you don't like the aura. The magic you feel coming off of this lady is really concerning you and you're not sure why but it makes you uncomfortable. And you have brought this up to your father multiple times but he just gets angry and he's like we have to get over the fact that your mother passed and allow me to be happy. We have to move on because he thinks that you're just being upset about your mom passing. But really it's more about this uncomfortable feeling that you can feel and that he seems to not be able to. Going on from there um, hold on a second while I bring something up real quick. All right, everybody, roll me some d20s. Does that include me? Yes. Okay. Just straight d20? Yep. Unless you're using the rainbow dice, in which case it's not a straight d20. Fair enough. <laughs> Where is... No. Is it coming up or do we need to tell you? No, you're good. I, I had to... I thought being on the encounter page would be enough, but I actually have to open an encounter to be able to see the, the game log, so that's what the problem was. Oh, uh, okay. Alright, so Batari, Aubins, Kyrie, is that it? Is there no more of you here? No, no, no. My 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 D and D Beyond was being stupid, and I had to refresh it. It's coming. Got it. Is it going to finish? There we go. Um, so this actually works out perfectly, honestly, if you think about it. So Kyrie, your uncomfortable dream. You can also open the game log from the campaign page. You can do that. Son of a biscuit eating bulldog. Oh yeah, I did know that. Um, <laughs> Kyrie, your discomforting dreams wake you up first. It is morning. The rain has subsided, but it's just gloomy now. That about fits my current mood. Good. Because I slept like shit. <laughs> I, I, I peel the tent Come off. Come on, Grylin. <laughs> Come out here. Is she the only one up? Though? She's the only one up. That's why we're doing oh, it. Okay. I like. I really like the idea of having people wake up because you guys don't all wake up at the same time. You're not robots. <laughs> I tried to be. You wouldn't let me. Well, that's fair. <laughs> um, and then, unless Kyrie, unless you have something you really wanted, uh, you know what? Actually, we're gonna do this the professional, the professional uh, critical role way. Kyrie, how are you feeling right now? I'm uh, very tired. I had some extremely unsettling dreams last night, and I didn't sleep very well. Krillin kind of nuzzles up against you because you two share a bond, and whatever you dream, he also dreams, and he uh, feels your discomfort. Did I say Krillin? I hope I did. You said you Krillin. Did. Son of a bitch! I didn't mean to do that! All right, you if said it's... If it's Krillin, we're gonna have to kill. You're gonna have to literally kill your 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 dragon every episode and bring him back. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We'll have to put a, a Krillin owned counter on the on the fucking three. <laughs> All right. So next up would be seventeen fifteen Matari Grundle Plunder. Okay, so I'm going to peel the tent off me and and kind of get up. Uh, I'll just kind of move over here and just kind of, uh, uh, I see Kyrie and I just kind of ask her how she's doing. I'm all right. I'm a little bit tired. I'm sorry you didn't see. How was your time? Uh, it was, it was a good poncho. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if there isn't already a fire in the fire pit, I start fire so 
All right, roll me a um, survival thing. Unless, do you have a fire? Do you have a fire spell or cantrip? I mean, I can press digitate fire. I can just go make fire. Can you press a digitate fire? Is it that powerful? I think you can. You know, if just for flavor, I will say yes. But uh, that shit doesn't work in combat. Just so you know. <laughs> let's see. Well, no, I'm sorry. I can I can warm something up, but I cannot just make fire. All right, so I, I'll do I'll do the survival thing. Yeah. Survivor. There is an actual item called flint and steel. Oh, that's tucked. Seven. Okay, um, you start a fire and it singes your eyebrows off and it's fucking hysterical. I love it. Well, uh, we got a fire! <laughs> Next up is going to be... Oh, wow, Gobbins, you were fucking tired. Klaus, you're up. You'd think Klaus would be tired or he's one of the ones that went down. Yeah, right? I, I'm on, come on out. All Beans is tired from carrying the party and putting down a whole bunch of buffy, beefy stuff. She was like, I'm going to support you, I'm going to support you, I'm going to support you. You get supported. You get supported. <laughs> she, and then she goes back and, support, guys. She comes back and she's like, but you got to pay me the taxes on that support, sorry. <laughs> so, Klaus, wake, you wake up and you come out of the tent and... Um, you see Kyrie and Krylin and definitely not Krillin, Krylin and Matari sitting near a fire. Um, Matari has like a little mirror that he's borrowing from Kyrie. I love you, his, and you liked it. God damn it! Up to his face and like looking at his eyebrows because they're missing. <laughs> what did you do? Oh, okay. no, I Let's can. Go. It says I can instantaneously light a small campfire. Well, it too late. You already burned off your... Uh, well, fine. Then well, you did that, but you still burned your eyebrows. <laughs> no, no, but now that we know, it says you instantaneously light or snuff out a candle, torch, or small campfire. Okay, good. So thanks, for, thanks for reading that for me, because I can't remember every fucking thing, so... No, you're good. Uh, I will use Press Digitate to clean myself up. <laughs> and That's kind of make myself back to normal. That's fair. You <laughs> can do that. So you see his eyebrows are a little singed off, and then um, he yeah. presses digitates, and it kind of like fills them in, but it's like pencil chalk. <laughs> they're drawn to a sharp. Yeah. yeah. Constantly looks surprised. Yes. Yeah. They're drawn. They're draw I'm 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 like a I'm like a, a really hot Mexican lady from the eighties. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, continue, Mister Klaus. All right, uh, I'm going to start cooking some breakfast, I guess. Nice. While you're cooking, um, we may go back to All Beans now. And All Beans, you shake yourself a little uh, awake and you rub the sleepies out of your eyes. First thing before you do anything, I need you to roll a perception check. Motherfucker. Investigation. <laughs> no, perception. Ah, uh, okay, I'm sorry. Well, actually, what's your passive perception? Let's go off of that first. My passive perception is 16. Holy fuck, never mind. Thank you, Candy. Um, so you Damn wake it. up, and you see in the bedroll next to you, not a Dylon, but a note. Thank you, Hoovian Lord. That's what it says on the note? That's pretty awesome. Right? A little <laughs> meta, but that works. All right. Candy also shared bits, too. Oh. He said thank you. All right, uh, can I read the note? Or I don't know. Are you illiterate? <laughs> I mean, I know a few languages. Yes, but you pick up the note. Just waking up. So, so you, um, you, you, nah, motherfucker wrote that shit in abyssal. Yeah, you, you wake up and you pick up the note, and uh, you, you know, it's a little blurry because you got the sleeps in your eyes or whatever, but. As you're reading, you realize, <clears throat> you read through it and it says, Beans, last night's battle was really rough and the fact that Neznar just brunted my attacks like I was nothing was kind of upsetting to me and I'm not able to sleep. I think I need a little time to myself, so while you guys go to Thunder Tree, I'm going to head over to Neverwinter and maybe get a couple drinks and just check out the city and take a deep breath. Um, Ringo is awake. He said that he's gonna go with me, even though I said I was fine on my own, but he said if we're gonna split the party, you should, uh, he shouldn't be alone. So we're gonna go. We will meet up with you either in Thunder Tree or after. 
Jesus, he takes one loss and cries about it. Yeah, he's got performance anxiety. <laughs> Sounds valid. <laughs> God, I hope I hope he watches this stream later. <laughs> Which will be up on YouTube at some point in time at YouTube Cypher and Liliandra. <laughs> like and subscribe. Hit that like notification bell. Working and you yeah, guys just are just like I've already subscribed. <laughs> That's fair. You can also dislike. I can't keep resubscribing. <laughs> and you can unsubscribe and then. Oh my God! I have to read you what Baz just said. That's hysterical. He said he has to go to Neverwinter to get more superiority dice. <laughs> <laughs> I hear hey. there's a secret where I can upgrade my superiority dice. Oh my god, he comes back and he's like, four. I got 15. So you guys oh are god. level 4, you did a full rest and you're all awake. Um, Beans, it's your turn, you are in. The, you just read this note. What would you like to do? Uh, I can just see her be like, mother, fuck you. <laughs> she comes out and she just hides the note and she says, I don't know where Dylon and, 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 and Ringo are. They're just missing. I, um... I guess I'm gonna come out here and go around the fire and be like, hey, uh, by the way, guys, looks like Dylon and Ringo decided to take off for a moment and drink their sorrows away. Oh, a romantic rendezvous. I always thought they could be nice together. I mean, Ringo has been talking about marriage. He kind of wants yeah, to marry all of did. us, so I think he's just taking us out one by one to talk to us individually. He did. He, you know, he's you know, he's he's polyamorous. It's cool. So, he's you know, he's just you trying to get a feel for who's ready for things. So we he's are all inclusive. All inclusive. <laughs> Kuvi and Lord, I appreciate the subscribe on YouTube, but un unfortunately, the the content is not quality because I don't have an editor for my videos yet. So it's basically just a dump of whatever <laughs> vods I have. Wait, what the fuck's Baz doing? Isn't that his job? <laughs> I need quality content. Leave, leave poor Baz alone. He's very busy and looking Baz, for a job. Get in the chair. I'm getting the chains. You're not moving. Yeah, Baz, anything. get back in your fucking basement. <laughs> you get back in the basement. Oh, goodness. All right. Um, Love you, Baz. You're doing great. We're up to 40% on the D&D market. That is true. Baz does have a job. All right. Um, so, now, on from there, just, you know, Klaus is cooking breakfast. Klaus, what are you making for breakfast? And I'm asking because I'm still a little bit hungry. IRL. Uh, you got sausages and... I love the sausages. I knew you were going to fucking say that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> are they German? Do we still have Triscuit crackers? Son no, of a bitch! Is that what you're asking? Bratwurst, ooh. And that's some sauerkraut here if you'd like. Keep. No, thank you. <laughs> Everybody says yes, sausage. sausage is delicious. All right, um, so let me, uh, when you guys are ready to move out, let me uh, update the mappers with your next map, because um, you guys Let's are do on this. adventure, on a grand adventure. Kaboomies! We're going on a trip in our favorite rocket ship. We are Holy the fuck, area. there's black olives in the fridge? Fuck yeah! Not the like reaction that black olives usually get. That sounds racist. Mm. Why they gotta be black olive? If I was racist, yeah. would I put them in my mouth? Because he likes them better than the green ones. <laughs> you nasty. Mm. You nasty. Mm. You, you nasty. Mm. All right. So let's see here. <laughs> Give me a second. We're gonna do this real quick. So we have. I'm just thirsty. Just a second, and I will drink some waters. Actually, that's right. Everybody has to drink water. So Dylon and Ringo are here in Neverwinter doing their doing their little thing. It's a little thing. And you peeps are on your way to um, Thunder Tree, and um, I have to roll some dice. Hold on a second. Thunder Tree sounds like so fucking badass. Yep, that sounds about right. As per usual, VM can't really roll over a 10. Kick ass. I'm, I'm not complaining. I want to finally get to fucking Thunder Tree. Been trying to get to Thunder Tree for like four fucking sessions. That's fair four enough. So you, you guys, guys are just walking going... faster? Jeez. Hey, we have a cart. 
Don't we have a cart with us? Or do we leave um, that you guys that never place? really said anything about traveling on foot or on cart, so. Walk. All right, fine. We, I'll say we just left the cart at the fucking place. So we're going to say about midday, you make it to Thunder Tree. Thunder Tree. Which means... I'm ready to, to kick some ass. Bring it on. I came here to kick ass and chew bubble gum, and I'm all out of gum. And I'm all out of ass. I'm also all out of ass. <clears throat> I came here to kick names and take ass, and I'm all out of names. All right, so give me a second here while I pull you guys up. So we have you four. Let me daddy. And we also need Krylin. Kaboomies. Yeah. And then we also need this one right here. So Thunder Tree, as you can see, is very big. Now, here's basically what you see. You come in, and this is a very, very overgrown town. It's clearly in disarray. There's weird vines and trees everywhere. And not only that, but you, you feel like the... Um, the um, Kyrie would actually know more about this than any of you guys. Fucking goddamn fairy forest loving fuck. She knows everything. Um, Kyrie hey, looks around. I, I move up to Kyrie. Hey, you fairy forest loving fuck. You know more about this area. <laughs> What's going on? Kyrie, as Matari asks you this, basically, you feel like the growth here is not natural greenery and that it's almost magical. <laughs> And it doesn't feel exactly right. Uh, I quick question: Are you saying that she's the one that knows everything because she's a fae? Because yeah. she, she took a fae and she took forest as her um, her fancy bu ranger bullshit. It's my fancy ranger terrain thing. I'm just curious because I have fae ancestry, so I have advantage on saves being charmed and magic doesn't put me to sleep. But I wasn't sure if that had the same thing to do since it's. Face stuff. So I you would because you because you're a druid. I would say you know a little bit also as well about like the the growth here. But she really like I'm feels suspicious. It. <laughs> I'm like it might be growth. I'm not sure. I'm not a landscaper. <laughs> but she, any, hasn't seen, she hasn't seen growth for a while. She's just not sure. Any whore. She shaved. As you guys are, um, I have to remove somebody from this. What the flapping fuck? <laughs> Where? Wait, hold on. Did I lose my mind at some point in time? You had it. I mean, probably before a, I that met happened you. a while ago, Siphon. Whose Sir? mind have you been using? Yes. Sir, you have to have a mind and lose. What's wrong, Emmy? Oh, okay. I, I love how we all made the same joke. We're all, we're all <laughs> right here. Oh, I'm stupid. I know exactly what I fucking did. So I was doing maintenance on my owl bear because there was too much shit, and I accidentally deleted all of the the, the um, tokens that were on this map. So now I got to repopulate all of them as we go. That's a lot of tokens. Is that like a quick five minute break then, <laughs> so you can do that? Or um, I could do that. We're just gonna do it as we go because they're they're mostly gonna be the same anyways. Oh, that's so irritating. Why am I so stupid sometimes? Regardless. You're not stupid. You're actually very smart. Thank you. I appreciate y'all's. That's fine. I'll we just repopulate them as we go. It doesn't um, mean not smart. Stupid means done without thought. Two minutes So ago. yes, you're very stupid. Here. You're mindless now. You're very smart, man. <laughs> <laughs> so um, as you guys are, uh, are as Kyrie is d d displaying her discomfort about this area, um, a person approaches you. Is that Kratos? No. <laughs> no. For it, for for legal purposes, no, it's not. <laughs> In actuality purposes, no, it's actually not. His name is Darth Bitchfist. Outside of game, that is a portrait of his brother Demos. Yep. Don't you have to save his brother in the third game? It's been a really long time. Um, it's in it's one of the PSP the games. The PSP games. Those ones were fun too, honestly. Yeah. I think it was Chains of the Bunkers. <clears throat> All right. Anyways, um, would you like to introduce yourself, new found person who just randomly appeared? Hi, my name is Susway, formerly known as Demos as a D and D character. 
what you see walking towards you is quite possibly the biggest ASMR you have ever seen. Standing at an above average six foot eight, wielding two battle axes that are chained to his arms. He has a birthmark going down the right of his eye with stark black hair and a pauldron on his arm that seems mostly decorational. Why have you come here? I don't know. (laughs) (laughs) We're here looking for the location of Craigmar Castle. You we were told not. there was a druid, but apparently he's not a druid anymore, so whatever. <clears throat> Dragma is far from here. Well, I do know the location. One does not give information freely. So, how much gold do you want? Give you three dollars and half a ham sandwich. I have in monetary value. Okay, a whole ham sandwich. Okay, then there you go. You got a ham sandwich. That's not monetary. This I music is fire. don't think I'm going to help you anymore. <laughs> oh, you're Jewish. I'm sorry. <laughs> Matari, um, keeping in mind... Just like that wasn't bad, but just keeping in mind that um, I stream this stuff. Yeah, just, I know. Just, just I know. Think, I know. Think before I know. I, it was a, this was a poor thing. <laughs> it, was a, it, was a poor, it was strictly a poor thing. And, uh, it's okay. Yeah. We're good. We're good. Don't pork the Jewish people, Matari. Oh, oh, oh God. Christ! You saw what they did to Kanye. Um. No. Okay, we're gonna move on. We're just gonna. I'm cancelled. Sir, if you were going to get cancelled, you would have been cancelled, buddy. Yeah, that is true, actually. I'm uncancelable because I don't Ooh. care. Great. Oh, my fucking god. <laughs> Not this again. <laughs> um, that's, that's my Drake. Are you opposed to... I'm not selling. I... Not wish to buy. If it was I... an egg, if it was an egg, maybe, but it's not an egg. Um. <laughs> okay, fair. I'm not wishing to part with Krylin. How do you feel about other of draconic nature? I feel like, hey, dude, his, his name's Krillin. You don't want him. This is good. Keep them talking. I, I'm rebuilding as you're talking. This is good. <laughs> so you don't oh. want gold. You don't want a ham sandwich. What do you want? I need help slaying a prey. I have been tracking. Um, what kinds of prey? I need you to agree to help before I tell you. <laughs> well, well, that's not mysterious it's- as fuck. Yeah, that's that's not really something that we normally do. You want to know what Kragma is? How is we? Very much. And you will agree. Help. In the interest of exposition, yes, we will <laughs> agree. You sound like an announcer I read in a book once. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I am almost actually exactly ready, so we are good. I got most everything reset, so. It sounds exactly if okay. good. You yeah. all in agreement. Yeah, 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 let's do this. I need your help to slay the dragon, Venom Fang. Oh. The okay. music changed at the perfect timing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, where is it? Let's go do the thing. We are in Thunder Tree. Be a little more specific, please. I do not know. It, is it in, is it is uh, the dragon in one of these areas that is currently covered up? 
the is... area is reacting to the dragon resting here. That's why. Cool. The what kind of dragon? What kind of dragon is it? Do you know? Green. It's a green dragon. All right. Is a green okay. dragon? This good dragon's gonna that be is, green. It's green. It's a little dragon's is, green. Now, would any green? of us know what the green dragon is exactly, or are we pretending we don't? From lore, you would know that green dragons are not friendly, and they are actually more common than the other ones. So you would definitely know the type of dragon they are. Okay. Remember this feeling you feel. If you ever come across an overgrown area that feels like this again, you're in the lair of a dragon. Oh, is that... I usually rem I usually remember the feels that I feel. More it's than a, a feeling, feeling, feeling. Feels feeling. I got a feeling. I will that warn tonight's you. gonna be a good night. The last group I hired for this job did not heed my warnings. Died. Thank you. Oh, right. it's okay. I, I, you, you know. We will, uh, we'll heed your warnings, you know, I mean, I, I'll, I'll be probably on edge, because when I, when I get these feelings, I like sexual healings, but, you know, I think, I think we'll be okay. Why do you seek the location of Dragon I ask. Yeah, it's in the script. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just say it's in the script? <laughs> I'm being serious. Uh, we are searching for a dwarf, and we were told he was taken there by the goblins. Yeah, I killed a couple of them with my dick. It's true, I saw it. Such a shame to see Kragma overrun with goblins. Well, if we can keep Venom Fane talking whenever we find him, it's the talk. Oh, it's on. Let us move forward. Yes, let us let us move forward as I have finally kind of mostly definitely gotten caught up here. I want to turn into a black bear. <laughs> <laughs> you can turn into I... Shut the hell up. I'm just kidding. <laughs> We're going into a forest. I want my extra hit points. I want to be a black bear. I'm level four. I can do that now. Can you do that now? All right. Well, great. Now I, I gotta can. find you a fucking black bear token. Give me a second. Oh yeah, I'm an ass. We'll, we'll I'm supposed it, to. Does Sam heal work? Bear? Can we just use that one and pretend it's a black bear? Actually, um, hold on. I have it. Hold on a second. Hold on. Stop. Stop everything you're doing. All beans. We're gonna okay. put your token over there. Add. Boom! Black bear. <laughs> oh my! Oh my God! All beans is, is literally is thrown off the plan of existence. That is a nice. It is and, terrifying. And Cypher, and I will. Day, I'll get you some lists. Plucked a bear. Venom Fang plucked a bear out of the woods the other day. Oh, plucked! Wow. Yeah, that was not what I heard either. That is not what I heard, man. I did not stutter. Clean your ears. It's good for hygiene. <laughs> yeah, and apparently for bear fucking. Wait, why are we fucking bears? You can you can fuck a bear if you mm -hmm. want, but from personal Demos is experience, the one not, good, not from today. Personal, from personal experience, the bear doesn't stand up. Very well, well, like my father always said, you can lead a horse, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't lead a whore to culture. <laughs> well, oh. we're moving on. We're what moving is, on. How do you people fight? Usually with you. weapons. You, Goliath, where is your battle axe? What do you mean by you people? I have a sword and I swing my dick. Shut your damn mouth. Fair enough. <laughs> Watch your tone. Uh, you're going to be calling me daddy next. Quit it. Oh, yes. This is great. This is what we need. <laughs> this is the content everybody's here for. And fighting is, is always the best. All right, I am I am caught up enough now where I think we can we can move forward. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> yeah, we move forward. All yeah. right, so you move forward, and what you see, I, I will officially be skipping down the road. Are these guys? Uh, what? Okay, so where is my delete tool? It's right here. Fog. 
Oh, yeah, I actually did this intelligently. Fuck yeah. <laughs> I was so worried for a second that I would fuck this up. All right, so as you're uh, um, headed down, as you're headed down, down, walking fast, kicking ass. All right, um, <laughs> you're, you're looking <laughs> on both sides of this, this not very well-traveled road anymore. That is true, Baz. Um, I can actually zoom in. My bad. I forgot that I have to control two maps here. My bad. All right. Um, there's a lot of run-down, like, buildings around, right? So all sorts of, of um, gross, like, overgrown nonsense. Some of the buildings are partially crumbled. Some walls are standing. Some have holes in them. These buildings are too small for Crylin could fit in these. Um, now. It's also a drake, not a dragon. <laughs> I was referring to the I'm dragon gonna, I'm, we are hunting. I'm going to skip up to to, to this doorway and uh, not and and uh, I'll be like trick or treat. Jesus Christ, you're so fucking stupid. All right, just a second. <laughs> Um, as, as the dragon walks past Timos, he's gonna like not chill out. They give it a quick pet, and I, I will. Looking. I will. Uh, I'll, <laughs> because I because it's small enough, I will. I will uh, make. Uh, I will press to digitate a, a small um, uh, thing that holds candy, like a little candy bucket. Is I'm gonna lean over oh, to Klaus. Like, it's helping me. And say, is the Goliath always so flamboyant? <laughs> yeah, every day. All the I'm, time. <laughs> I'm bordering on mentally damaged. He's not bordering. I'm bordering, I said. <laughs> Where I come from, you wouldn't have made it past four. <laughs> well, where you know what? We worry about where you come from. That's why, you know, you have to get tested from time to time. I come from my dick ass. You have a dick I'm ass? <laughs> There was a comma. Do not read. <laughs> Can you Why not you read? <laughs> oh, I hate this so much. Wait right. a minute. You have subtitles? <laughs> yes. It's in like seven languages. <laughs> it's in the fucking script. He has subtitles that just, that just float in front of him. <laughs> Closed captioning. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, so because oh, I, may be, I, like I, may, I may be hopped up on too much cold medicine. Ugh. Yeah, well, I mean, not really because you're like this all the time, brah. Yeah, a little bit. All right, anything inside this thing? Oh yes. Um, so you're gonna you you enter there, and there's like a half broken down door anyway. So this is well, the I, quality I, just... I signed up for. Yeah, you're goddamn right. I, to be clear, I did not say I entered. I was standing in the doorway. The doorway is like broken. The, it, this place is a thousand years old, and it, and, and the, the doorway is pretty much broken down. Anyways, um, you see two gangly-looking green creatures, and uh, y'all need to roll for initiative. Hey guys, some gangly-looking green creatures. Can I roll with advantage because I'm always prepared for battle? You can roll for shut the hell up. All right, it was a joke. Okay. I know. <laughs> you can roll for shut your damn mouth. Why is my D&D Beyond being fucking dumb today? I mean, I have is your it, roll. I already had, yeah, you rolled a 19. Yeah. Uh, the visual dice rolled, like, took See. it like a whole minute. Yeah, Klaus rolled a 14, Demo 16, I rolled a 19. Wow, I actually have the first initiative. <laughs> Makes sense. It's, to oh, open it's, the it's, door. it's changed. Your like, I was gonna say it makes sense because you're in the fucking doorway again. <laughs> Heck yeah! <laughs> All right. Um, how far can you guys move in one turn? It's a good question. Not very. I, I'm probably the slowest at thirty feet. So. I, I can also I can only move thirty feet. Thirty feet. Okay. I can move 30. I'm right. really mad I don't have Four. my moaning voice anymore. It would have been so much deeper. Grr. <laughs> arg. As Matari, you see two of those gangly creatures in front of you, and another one comes out from the building behind you. Oh. And now it's Matari Grundleplunder's turn. You're lucky you rolled so high. No, step bro. Say it ain't so. 
I will not go. I don't like that that's the letter G. There are a no. lot of letters which would be B and G. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's usually how I feel when I see him start dragging shit out. So like, oh, I'm on J. to... Oh, this is going to be a bad encounter, isn't it? Um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead. Uh, I'm going to cast Thunder Wave pretty much inside this entire place. Okay. So uh, roll a Constitution saving throw for both of those, and I will roll for damage. Can you say please? Please. All right, don't roll it. Who's trying to be nice? All right, so 17 for the first one and 14 for the second one. Okay. So they they both take half, so they take five. Yeah? Is that what they take? Is that what they take, yeah, they bro? Take, they do, too. Too bad they're immune to thunder damage, Oak. That is my fault. <laughs> Everything I do is thunder damage, and Scythe got tired of it. Uh, they disappear. They died. Under me you anytime. broke them okay. down into teeny weeny little thingies. Okay, so you're good. Yay! Uh, and then uh, I'm gonna. Treats, fair enough. I'm gonna move right in front of this guy and go. Hi. All right, Demos, you're up. Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm gonna hit him. I'm gonna hit him with both of my battle axes. Seventeen to hit on the first one. Yeah. Or seven damage. Okay, he's dead. You killed him. You really shouldn't play with your. Friend. And then an ing and then because you're Goliath, I'm gonna assume you speak giant. Yes. And I'm gonna uh, say. Wait, wait. I, yeah, I do speak giant. Yeah. I'm going to say, be better in Giant. Oh. Rough. Wow. Oh, shit. I'm 58 minutes into this. I got I to gotta stop.